Right. I can't believe I'm featuring my ongoing zoo deck as much as I have. So you guys saw the first couple of videos. We had Black Swan in here, and then we've added like Hope Summers. Elsa Bloodstone's back. Ant-Man's been back. Call. Uh, so Obsidian. So there's a lot of additions, and of course I still keeping Havoc. He was the main reason I, why I made this deck. I still think Black Swan is still a good card in this deck because especially those zero power cards really synergize with the Hope Summers, right? You could save it up for a pretty explosive turn. But we got Mockingbird in here now, so we had to drop something and we dropped Black Swan for now. So pretty much, uh, I guess Akoya could go, but she's pretty good. She gives you value, kind of gives you a little bit extra was it called uh, power to hopefully win lanes and games uh well obviously blue marvel has to stay kazar has to stay their primary uh she has to stay because she protects your board yeah so we'll see we'll see um so far these additions i call obsidian mockingbird and uh, even elsa have been really productive for the deck i guess american chavez could go and put black swan back in but I don't know, her, her ability is really good in this deck, especially if she hits stuff like Havoc or Koya or even Hope or any of the, anything that gets buffed is just really, really good. And other than uh, these two, I mean, they, these guys can be obviously Shang-Chi, which kind of sucks. Elsa could put some stuff but uh, that could get in Shang-Chi range, but most of the time, you're pretty safe from him. Uh, I really want to get M Mobius and Mobius back because uh, he's really good in the meta right now. But again, we just don't have enough room. Imagine that a uh, game that where you just need more um, deck slots. I wish we could have like two more. 14 would be kind of nice, but hey. Anyways, guys, let's play some games and see how it goes. But uh, I do plan on recording after this a uh, Cars and Castle two video with my first ever deck that I've built so have that to look forward to. okay let's go oh look at this the king huh love that uh pixel um avatar actually actually oh my god so American Travis is completely and utterly worthless now other than just being a one drop oh man so we'll see how this goes we do got some power, which is good. We could do this. Actually, we kind of probably want the stones, right? Oh, if they have um. Now let's let's chill. We're not gonna be able to fill him up, so I guess we do this. I mean, we could go over here, I guess, but oh, he has uh, what's his name? Yep. So it's a, usually the, this guy, Mysterio's in bounce decks, but I don't think they're going to be able to do that. Hmm. That's actually really good for them and really good for me. Well, Patriot does virtually nothing for me, but we'll just play him anyways. Ah, oh, man, how are we going to... How are we going to win this, though? Uh, I don't think we ever win this because... Well, we're just going to play it anyways. Uh, Cole is going to go here, I guess. Or... Yeah, we don't win this. Oh, we do get that synergy, which is great. It depends on what they're... I mean, this is technically more power. It puts one power here. Puts power here, here. I think that's it. I mean, he's really good too, but... Oh, Mockingbird, that's a... Ooh, we can do this. We could do this. Let's do this. We're going to go for two lanes. Oh, wow. Alright, well, this is it. Let's see if we win. <clears throat> I mean, who knows what they have, right? If they have, uh, I don't think they have Killmonger because 
Ooh, if they have Ultron, we lose big time. If they snap, we retreat. Well, I think they would have done that by now. No, maybe not because people, it's not good to snap at this because you're just, just your person's gonna. Ooh. Oh wow! What a game! What a game! I'm not gonna lie, that was a nail biter, guys. I had no idea if we're gonna win or not. All right, let's go next one. Big win! Big win! The doc is in the house. So they do not have uh, Thanos. Ooh, Wolverine. So they're a destroy deck, or they could be Galactus. Ooh, Hope's here, so that's really good. I kind of think we need to make move for room for Black Swan. It's so good with Hope getting these zero costs uh, one drops. The only problem with uh, oh, it is a Thanos deck. Weird. Uh, hmm. Oh, it got it from me. I was gonna say because their their count. There's definitely not. Ooh, we're gonna just do that. We're going to do this. We need a draw. Because they're going to have Killmonger, guys. So we need to hopefully get our protection ASAP or we're going to be out of luck. Mm, this is really, really bad. We could do this. We'll do that. Okay, interesting. So it's not a typical destroy deck, but I still think they're going to have a reality stones. Good, we'll save it for there. Turn four, right? So we're going to do, let's do this. Oh, actually, let's do this. We're going to have that soak up. And then we will do, I guess. Ah. <sighs> Might as well do this now because we're going to get rid of this. Yeah, let's chill. I hate wasting energy. Hmm. Here, let's do this. Let's do this. And then we'll do, like, ah, this is going to be a weak lane. Let's put them over here. Ah, I don't think we really play Wolverine, guys. We're going to have better uh, stuff, but let's get rid of that right now. Uh, they probably have Killmonger. That's the only reason I would anticipate that they're uh, snapping. If they do, they were out. I... Thanos is 20, so we do got some respectful power. Even if we get Killmonger, we might be okay. Ooh, 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 interesting. They wish they would have gone there, right? All right, so. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's move Reality Stone over here. And I think this is kind of good. We're kind of locking this up, so maybe we don't keep the... Mm, there could be... um. Oh, that might be a mistake locking up that lane, but that's going to be a lot of power, and and their mid's not going to be that good. Mm, so they're going to destroy that. Do we lose is the question. That's going to be 14 here. We still win there. Uh, we just go here, I think. Oh, hold on. Order is this. This. So that gets buffed. I think we're okay. Right? That's more than 14. They're going to have to play. They're going to have to play more than that. Because uh, that's going to be uh, 12 power. Right? She busts two. Yeah. Unless they have Shang-Chi. But then they don't win if they do that. I would snap. But I want to get the guaranteed two. I don't want... Or, uh, I don't want them to bail because they're, I mean. Ooh, they're played. All right, Carnage is not enough to win. Ooh, we do get that extra bit. Though. Ooh, we might. That's not enough. Ooh, wait, they do they win? No, they don't. Nope. Not enough. Great. 
Oh, actually, they could win. No, they don't. RNG is not in their favor. Let's go. What a huge, huge win. Okay, guys. So, let's have a recap. And then we're going to... I, I like to keep these in Marvel Snap videos kind of short. They're better for you because I actually get decent views for Snap content. So, let's just give it a two games. We might go longer in the future. But um, I'm going to see about... Here, we'll talk about it in the recap. All right, some good games. So, yeah, this deck has actually been doing really, really good. I would say that it's gotten actually better last month or so because of Cole, uh, Elsa's uh, buff has definitely helped the deck. I uh, hope Summers has helped. And, of course, Mockingbird release really, really helped. I still think Black Swan has a place in this deck. We're just going to have to see what card are we going to drop the candidates well i can't i mean technically i could drop havoc but havoc actually wins me a good fair amount of games because of his scaling capabilities it's the best in the game and just he wins a lot of the wins me a lot of games so he's definitely staying there and plus the reason why i buy i guess akoya could go even though i like her she gives good value for you know everything so uh, chavez is probably a good candidate to drop for uh for Elsa I know I'm not sorry Elsa uh, Black Swan even though she's technically a one drop but she's really good though so we'll see we'll see but overall it's been a really fun deck I keep having a positive win rate with it which you can never um complain about I mean uh yeah it's a good game good deck you guys should try it and obviously it takes time to uh any kind of deck you get it might do well for the one pilot not so well for another so you know Mileage may vary. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you coming by and watching it. And we will definitely have more Marvel Snap content because I'm saving up my spotlight keys for War Machine. I really would love to get uh, Cannonball. I think Cannonball is going to be a sleeper hit. But unfortunately, it's tough getting these uh, getting new cards, man. That extra card per month has really made it more difficult. And I'm not technically free to play, but I'm not a whale, meaning I don't spend money on every bundle I don't buy every this, I don't buy that. So I get the season pass and I buy it. Like I bought the $10 um, Polaris uh, bundle just recently. Cause anything like $10 and under I will get, but I'm not a big whale and $20 bundles. If it's a decent deal, I might consider it. But anything that's the threshold for me because like right now the uh, steam uh, sales on it, you can get a lot of good games for 20 bucks. All right guys, I'll take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.